Hello, this is uh, me, Diana of Tantra Butterfly, and I'm going to give you a tip on how to use your sage wand. First of all, you don't have to light the entire wand all at once. What I like to do is cut the twine off and use some pieces. You don't need a lot to cleanse yourself with. In fact, it's it's a huge waste of sage when you do this. And I'm going to be using some dragon's blood sage. It's red and its purpose is not only for purification of energy and creation of sacred space, but it's also used for protection. So you just need to light a little bit. This is more than enough to create sacred space and to purify and to make your home smell wonderful. Like I said, you don't need a lot. I'm just lighting a tiny little piece. And actually, I just wanted to say that I have had a very, very challenging three weeks. I don't know why, but I've been attracting a lot of very curious people, men in particular, and a couple actually, who got really interested in the work that I have to offer, but because of their own fears and internal, internal feelings of anxiety, they have chosen not to work with me after I set up the appointment and took a small deposit and ended up canceling our time together, like literally at the last minute. And I've also attracted somebody today, for instance, who had me chatting on the phone with me for 15 minutes and asking me about pointed questions on energy work and Reiki, and then just decided to hang up on me, um, like just quick hanging up on me while chatting with me on the phone and asking me questions. And I just wanted to say that what I'm going to be doing is allowing that energy to leave me. I, I wish not to take on that negative energy because what it is, is I realize that sometimes I actually mirror people's insecurities. So sometimes people call me and they're excited about the concept of Tantra and working with me or working with me as a couple. But because of their own darkness, their own insecurities and their own darkness. They use me as a mirror and the energy of darkness and the energy of insecurity reflects back onto them. And then they're unable to move forward and work with me um, because of their own fears. So I personally don't take on anyone's darkness or insecurity because it's not mine to take on. In other words, I'm using this particular dragon's blood sage as a way of purifying all the negativity that was sent to me because of people's fear. Um, people sometimes are overthinking the process of self-healing and self-awareness because there's a lot of darkness um, which surrounds sexual energy. And I'm not here to take on anybody's darkness or negative energy. That's not my job. I don't deserve that kind of darkness. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually saging myself and saging myself of all the negative energy, all the fears, um, anything that doesn't really belong to me. 
and doesn't serve me is being saged right off. And I didn't have to use a whole stick of the sage. I just used a couple tiny pieces. And I'm burning it in an abalone shell. These are so beautiful. And I can actually use this on your energy field during our time together, unless you, of course, have an allergy to this. If you're allergic, of course I won't use this on you. But never, never use an entire stick um, for smudging purposes. That's not necessary. You just need to use tiny little pieces, and then your sage will last a long time. So for anyone that I've spoken to within the past three weeks, especially the gentleman that called me today, I just want you to know that um, I am not a vessel for your anger or negativity. I am not a vessel um, for your fear. That is something that you need to deal with. This is your darkness. I'm simply a mirror and reflecting your own energy back to you. If you feel insecurity about working with me, perhaps you should meet me for a coffee consultation or a phone consultation. But anyway, have a great day. Um, this comes to the very end of my video and I'm leaving it here. Thank you for listening.